uh, wait, wait, another one? Yes, another one. I'm just putting out videos now, man. I got the time to do this. Y'all wanted another build? This one is Nidus. Nidus is one of the strongest frames in the game. And he is also, based off of how his abilities go, his synergy is top tier. And as far as with his build, it's flat simple. Power strength, range, you want to have duration. 128, 145, 269. You don't need to worry about efficiency because his first ability takes care of that in Verlins. When you hit a number of enemies, energy gets refunded to you. And since I have Blind Rage and Prime Continuity as the uh, the duration and power strength, it's all good. But I have Blind Rage and Transient India, Hunter Adrenaline, because of course he has no shield, so this will give him good benefit. Got the Steel Fiber in there so I can get his armor up. Vitality, Stretch, Prime Flow, of course, for the energy purposes to go along with Hunter Adrenaline. Handspring and Rejuvenation. So he can keep that heal. And plus, I have Arcane Grace because here it goes again. His health is going to keep getting hit. Got the Energize in there. Now, when it comes down to dealing with enemies, it always going to go to his second. You normally would die this when you see a group of enemies. You want to throw out your... <laughs> you want to throw out your second. Just because of the fact that the enemies are there... Like, you know what, let me throw this out here, and I'll just go to work. No different here when it comes down to the void where you're doing long survivals. Because Nidus, he'll just group up enemies, and that's what makes him so good. Put this out there, and you got your Zati like this, and oh man, it will start wrecking dudes inside there because of the gas clouds. If somebody's alive in there... You can mess with them right quick, but with the amount of gas that the Zati Prime brings, they will die. <laughs> they will die. The gas, procs, all of that shit will be kicking in. That's how crazy this shit is. And I don't know why somebody keeps messing to me while I'm doing this video. Alright, but I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep on going for you guys. I'm going to keep going for you guys. So you don't even have to use the Zati. You could use... The Kuva Comb, or you could use the regular one. It doesn't matter when it comes to Nidus. It really doesn't. Clump them up and just get this going. You just get this going, and everybody who was in there is dead. I'm talking about corroded, I'm talking about charred. And someone's message would be like crazy. Get out of here, man. Jeez, I've been on a roll, man. People hit me up with all kinds of messages. I'm on a roll, man. Hold on. When I get this out. So, you could use the Zante. You could use the Comb. You can... You already know that's PlayStation. Ugh. There that goes. Uh, You could even use the Kuva Tonkor. You could even use the Brahma. You could use the Zara with this guy because, again, you're talking about viral, you're talking about that slash, all the enemies are in there. And oh, yeah, the Nami Scholar as well. Just because of the fact you could melee guys in there, and you could also do a ground finisher as well if you have your cursor down and looking down at the enemies. You could do the same thing there, too. Bang. You could just do that, keep messing with them, and they will flat out die. Why? Because of the slash and the viral cheese. I got the viral cheese when it comes to the Nami Scala and that slash. And of course, the goddamn Zara will also put in work as well. But of course, when you're dealing with the slash and all of that, you could change up and have the barrage in there. The barrage is the shotgun mechanic of the czar, so you could also use that as well in if you want to deal with those enemies that are in there. So you gotta do this and get up close to them. And then you could just use your melee weapon in combination and just mess them up right quick, you know. And there you go, bang, done. Nidus does 
all kind of things. Now, once you stack up your, get your stacks up, you can use your ultimate to get your heal off. You can also use your third ability to link yourself to somebody, you know, just in case something were to happen. And you'd be like, oh man, I need to link myself. You can link yourself so you can have some damage reduction and you can just keep on keeping on. But once you put your larva out there, use your second ability and catch everything in a comb effect, it is open season on them guys. They really can't defend themselves all that much. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? So, you have a variety of weapons to mess with them guys once they get clumped in. You want to have a weapon that has a lot of blast, a lot of area effect to it. All right? Even the goddamn lens. I think people don't even use the lens all that much anymore just because it's been outclassed by the Kuva Brahma. But the lens should be putting in work as well. And I'm surprised it says 105. I think it's just because I'm in the similar chrome, but whatever. So we could just do the same thing with them right here. And I don't think it does that much damage. I don't think. It actually does do damage, so I think about it. But it doesn't do as much as it should. So again, I could just plant it at the bottom. But this build, I believe, has um, viral on it. And you can just build your stacks up if you want to. But I'll just finish them off with this. And there you go. The Kuva Brahma does work. But the lens, as you can see, it takes like a number of shots. I think it's just because of the build that I have for it. Even though it has the crit. But I believe... Yeah, it has Blast and Viral. So yeah, that's the reason why. So, I mean... It still comes down to the weapon of choice when you're using Nidus. But when you have the Zanti, and you can use any other melee weapon of your choosing, even the Galantine as well. The Galantine Prime is still one of the best weapons in the game because of all that slash. It will do a lot of damage to them guys once you get them clumped up. But the most important thing is that, did they die? Yes, they died. Is Nidus still standing? He will still be standing. And even if you take a whole bunch of brunt of damage... If you're about to die or something like that, his passive will take care of you. But also to the fact, throw out your ultimate, which is his fourth, and you'll be able to heal yourself at a fast rate. So it's hard to take down Nidus, especially when he has a whole bunch of stacks working in his favor. So like I talked about, as far as with his um, third ability, since I have a number of stacks on me, I could actually show you guys as far as how that is, in case some of you don't know how it is with him <laughs> so since oh no stacks are gone boo i may have to go and get that back for you guys so hold on let me see if i can build that shit back for you because all you need is like three stacks once you have three stacks link yourself to somebody and then once you link yourself to somebody you're practically in the clear And, of course, that guy will stand there next to you. And he'll be like, oh, this is all nice and stuff. Yay. And if you don't defend yourself, that may end up happening to you. But, again, it's fine. It's fine. It's cool. Yay. Doop. <laughs> So, that's practically Nidus in a nutshell, man. Like, he really doesn't die if you have all your shit working for you and you just end up keep killing guys over and over and over again. But if you just stand there not doing anything like what just happened to me, well, you're out of luck. And especially if you don't have at least 15 stacks, yeah, you will end up dead. If I had more stacks, his passive will get active. He will be invulnerable. And you will have a window to escape that situation. So that's Nidus, man. That's just Nidus in a nutshell. He's strong. He's so strong. 
that all four of his abilities working in cohesion makes him such a powerhouse that even if you're four or five, six hours in a survival, with all of the stacks that you built up, it should be like at least over, at least at a hundred. He is hard to take down. He's hard to take down. So that's Nidus. What do you guys think as far as building your Nidus? Because I want to hear your builds when it comes to Nidus. All right. I'm out. And also make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that stuff. All right.